my strategic vision for science, technology, and innovation is not to start producing microchips and competing with the likes of Intel and Samsung just yet. You never know. My strategic vision is to develop around even more questions. Can we prime our economy for long-term sustainable growth by deploying innovation? Can we collect reliable data over time? And can we use data to our advantage in economic planning or in the delivery of government services? There are very few governments who, around the world who are thinking about innovation. There are few governments who have invested in innovation. There are few governments who have taken innovation as seriously as our government has. Our government is leading globally. We have a chief innovation officer in the office of the president. We have the directorate of science, technology, and innovation in the presidency. And we have a presidential mandate to, to deliver. There are not many countries who do that. To change and transform Sierra Leone, we needed a dedicated institution that can use science, technology, and innovation my team and I have spoken to over 100 leaders across government and other organizations to better understand how we can collaborate to deliver solutions for our citizens. It tells you that our government is serious about science and technology and that is why we have now an embodiment which can take that through. That would work with ministries, work with the president, with the chief minister and even other partners to see how we can move science, technology and innovation part of our, de our development. Are there development challenges in Sierra Leone that science, technology can help us to tackle and resolve? So basically, we don't work on suppositions here. We don't guess. We allow the data to speak to us. We analyze the data and use that information to inform government decision when they want to um, invest resources, when they want to undertake a strategic plan. That is what we do here. Over the next four to six weeks, an interactive platform will be ready for the use by decision makers to inform the investments needed to support the free and quality education program. There is a future in which the, that the president talked about where a, a service person doesn't have to travel hundreds of miles to come and stand in a queue for hours and hours to be able to get their benefits. That future does exist and we can go there.